Hey, this is Matt once again. We're about to end the video. This is another paid request this time for Antonio. Thank you so much for that. And for those interested in requesting any type of videos, feel free to send them either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. And yeah, topics, feel free. These are interesting to me. He wanted to ask, what are my thoughts on the live action remake of Disney's Hercules? Now, I didn't read it closely at first because I thought he meant, oh, and it's another version of Hercules. I mean, they've done tons of versions of Hercules from Steve Reeves back in the day to Kevin Sorbo, Legendary Journeys to Dwayne the Walk, the Walk, the Waka Waka Waka. God, Dwayne Johnson as, as <laughs> Foggy Bear. You mean, no, no, I meant what I said. Because he ain't the guy on the Muppets. His head is all foggy. But. You mean Fozzie? No, Foggy is his uncle. Uncle Fog. But. <sighs> Dwayne Johnson had a Hercules one. There was the Legend of Hercules and that one. No. This is an actual remake of the 1997 Disney Hercules film. And I went. Oh my god. Really? Why am I surprised? Why do I say really? I mean, there's so many other Hercules movies. But, I mean, they're remaking as many of those live-action films as they can because Hollywood's run of ideas is not news. It's not news at all. Why am I surprised and why am I trying to have a shock and awe face on me? Lion King, Aladdin... Beauty and the Beast, Dumbo, The Little Mermaid. Which did that really was that really a Dane Bane of a Busta motherfucker? Busta in the box office? I don't know. Barely pay attention to it anymore. But apparently this is going to be directed by Guy Ritchie. Because he had done the Aladdin remake that made over a billion dollars. The one with Will Smith as the genie. It's going to be produced by the Russo brothers. Whoopee. There's talks of Taron Egerton. Which I remember he was the lead in The Teensman. Which I liked him in that. I even did not mind the sequel. But I don't know. I mean, is that kind of like when they try to fit him in the, what was it, a Robin Hood movie? Is that the one with Jamie Foxx in and the film no one saw? If that's the case. The producers. Two producers that did the Lion King remake. Because that was such a great movie, the Lion King remake. Which was live action when 98% of it was CGI. So, was that is that really considered live action? With that shitty version of Star. Because I remember so many people loved that Lion King remake. Just like so many people loved that Aladdin remake. And the writer is David Callahan. Not Callahan. Callahan. Who wrote Sean Chi and Wonder Woman 84. Great. Sean Chi and the Legend of the Ten Cock Rings. Bulletproof Monk 2. I really... Wow. That was such a wonderful fucking movie. That I guarantee you I just said that and most people go, Oh, fuck, that was a movie. It's Ali. Did you already forget Shang-Chi was a movie? I certainly fucked did until I read it. I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. The first Asian comic book... I'm like, no, there was Bulletproof Monk. Which is better than you, Sally, and that movie sucks too. Talking about hot dogs and hot dog buns. It was still more watchable than your piece of shit. <clears throat> also, if you think about it, Brandon Lee is part was part Asian. Because his father was Bruce Lee. And he was in the crow based on a comic book, so technically he was before you, motherfucker, Sean G. Whatever the fuck that guy's name is, the lead guy, 
who, what was it, at one point, he's like trying to stick up for a, a guy who touched kids. Well, it was just, a, I forget what the hell it was. It was fucking, guy was a fucking idiot. He is a fucking idiot. Oh, Wonder Woman 84, the critically acclaimed sequel that everybody loved. The one with Pedro Pascal was pretty much Donald Trump without saying he's Donald Trump. And Wonder Woman was such a great person that, yeah, this other person, uh, we're going to let Chris Pine possess your body without your say so, your permission. And I'm going to fuck that body without your permission. So, here's a person who got possessed without any choice of the matter, and got fucked without any choice of the matter. But it's okay if a woman does it. That's how stupid the fucking movie is, man. Wonder Woman 84. Jesus Christ. This is the writer who thought that shit was worth the shit. Who wrote that? He wrote that shit. In Wonder Woman 84. Of course, let's be honest, a lot of those superhero movies are made by committee. I understand that. But still, your name's on the dotted line, buddy. The writer of Shang-Chi, Wonder Woman 84. Wow, good luck on what he does with Hercules. He'll fuck the horse. I don't know. Of course. That'll be Mr. Ed. I think Tony was asked, like, how much do I look forward to it? Nothing. Jat shit. Zilch nada. I'm not even the biggest fan of, of the original animator Hercules, but at least I had James Woods as your villain. And you had Dan DeVito. And, you know, it was harmless. I could watch it and be, you know, all right. It was fairly harmless. This is Disney. In today's age, so you know they're never going to learn. They're never going to learn their lesson. They're going to force some other political PC correctness bullshit in. Probably talk about how you know Hercules is misogynistic or whatever the fuck. So he can't be doing this and that because of the patriarchy, and he can't be saving the light. Can't be saving the lady because the lady needs to save Hercules this time. Just like that girl saved Indiana Jones in the the last movie. This time Hercules will need saving. Or I don't fucking know, man. Would you be surprised if any of that happened? No, and that's my point. No, I don't look forward to Disney live action films. I don't look forward to Disney live action remakes. And I don't look forward to anything Disney, period. Minnie Mouse, do you, period, and wash everything of Disney with blood. And let it be the first course of the apocalypse. Bring in the locusts and other shit. And Mickey Mouse get his bowling ball fingers up the cooch and bowl her ass down the fucking pipeline. Goof suits, goof troops of a co fucking company. And I'm supposed to give a shit that there's a live action remake of Hercules coming out of the 1997 Disney. I'm trying to think, what would they do next? I know there was toss of that Robin Hood one, you know, the one of the animals, anthropomorphic. There was talk of that for 10 minutes. Lay in the tramp they did for their streaming service. The Dun Dumbo. Bambi, yeah. Weren't they going to do Bambi? Maybe. I thought they were. I'm just thinking, well, Snow White they were going to do. And they got cancelled. I guess they got... Is it, is it officially canceled or not? I keep hearing it's canceled, but it's it's hard for me, it's hard for me to still believe that fully. I think what's the word? It's on hold or something. It it would just be hard for me to believe that Disney would actually listen to people and cancel the motherfucking thing. 
Maybe pigs will fly. You know, Hassa. It's a pig that don't fly straight. Ain't that right, Frank? You know, Hassa. It just, I... Maybe eventually we'll see that on like a streaming platform or something. I think they're going to wait until it dies down and then slip it out there. And just be like, you shut up. You do what you're told. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You say what we want you to say. Maybe a bit of time people forget and then fucking release it. I would guess that because they put so much money into that. Grand Warner Bros. got rid of Batgirl, so. I don't know. We'll, I don't know I just, so, what else would it be next? They did Aladdin, they did The Lion King, they did Mulan, I forgot about Mulan, Pocahontas. That that will be next. Some Pocahontas. Oh God! And it'll be the cast of prey. That predator movie prey will be the cast of prey. It'll be Pocahontas. That I goddamn guarantee you will be soon. Pocahontas. And God, I can imagine in the Disney of today, what they do with Pocahontas. <laughs> I almost wanted to come out just to fucking laugh in his face when it does the fucking white men are evil, white men are evil, white men are evil. Yes, we know most of them are going to see the film, but you're still all evil. And most of them are the ones working in the chairman of the board meetings. Most of you are white. But I know you say you hate all white people, but you're most of you are white. Go figure. No, Guy Ritchie, he's doing it because his Disney's getting a big paycheck and the last film he did with them, Aladdin made a billion dollars. What else has he done lately that made money? Didn't he work on Wrath of Man, Jason Statham? Was that him? I remember not minding it, but I don't know if that film really did much business. Make a deal with the devil? You, your movie makes money? You'll get more opportunities in Hollywood to stay afloat. It's what it usually is and always has been. No, I don't look forward to it. And then the Zeus will be misogynistic. The patriarchy will be looked down as shitty. And Zeus will be a girl or. Hera will be the king of the gods, the queen of the gods. I could be king of the gods, too. Fuck this queen shit. I'm the king of the gods. I got tits in the bush, but I'm the king of the gods. I just imagine. I just... They do the worst case scenario and double it. That way, if they don't do it, you'll be surprised. So, no, I don't look forward to it. This is Disney. Have you seen Aladdin? Have you seen the Lion King remakes and the Aladdin remakes and Mulan remakes? No, I did not see Little Mermaid, and I doubt I'm missing much. So with that said, make the Robin Hood movie and all the furries will be happy. If you're a furry, no judgment. I have no issues with people who are that. I welcome all people. If you're gay, bi, both, neither, a My Little Pony fan or a furry, I welcome you. I just don't like assholes. And the biggest asshole nowadays is Disney. So I don't welcome Disney. You know what I think of Disney? That's why I think of Disney. Any other group... Well, most any groups are welcome. Not the KKK and not other fucking groups of that nature. But I 
I don't know where I'm going with that. I just if you're a furry, that's fine, as long as you're not Disney. <laughs> if you're not dizzy and you're not an asshole, then it's all good. <laughs> I don't fucking know, man. This shit drives you crazy. We'll see you guys later. Bye bye.